Hello and welcome to a demonstration video of an unplanned extra special feature of the impulse drive by Circuit Abbey. The Circuit Abbey impulse drive can be used as a VCA. Now I know what you're all thinking, you can never have too many VCAs. Well here's another one. I will forewarn you, it does bleed a little bit, it wasn't necessarily intended to ever act like this. But if you're looking for a VCA and you happen to have an impulse drive, you've got one. Now I'm going to explain the patch to see what we've got going on. Now the kick drum that you hear is going to injector number two. The injector select is turned entirely clockwise, so it's on injector one. Now the injector level is at noon. You can overdrive the signal a little bit if you go beyond that. I just kind of wanted to keep it vanilla for these purposes. Now what you will be doing is you will be applying a negative control voltage into injector CV input. If you're putting in an envelope, for instance, that goes between zero and a full being negative five volts, the negative five will throw the injector CV back to zero back to noon, which means on the injector select, it's throwing it from one to noon. So therefore, you're getting some two on the output. Whereas if it's fully at one, you get nothing. You get a little bleed. But who's afraid of a little bit of blood? For instance, the kick drum that you are hearing is going into injector two. The injector CV is being hit by a negative envelope and the monitor output of the impulse drive is the original signal after the injector select crossfade and the injector level but before any of the grids in this way we have a vca out of the impulse drive now if you're sending a percussive source like this kick drum to the impulse drive you will get these weird little artifacts that happen between hits because as the comparator kicks on and off between the hits there's those periods where it's trying to figure out what to ring mod with which is where things get fun um i'm now going to plug into the output one and we will hear what the kick drum going to the first grid sounds like i will also turn the cv level to nothing so you just get what it's doing only with its current grid bias setting And just for fun, let's sweep around. That's a good example of weirdness. In this example, you have the kick drum actually falling out, and then this weird, nasally rectified squeal come in during what's between the kicks. Again, another weird example of what happens while it's trying to figure out what to do. It's in Entirely killing the kicks, but bringing in this groan. Now let's go back to where we had the kick. And let's bring in some CV level. Uh, it's important to note that for this demonstration, I've got an envelope going into one channel of an NB, as well as a second channel being hit by one of the weird little swung outputs from a 4MS shuffling clock multiplier. Those two are combined up the mix output of the NB, so you get these weird... You get the downbeat, but then you also get these weird, like, shuffled, I think it's six. in there. Let's swing the bias a little bit, just play with this. See, we have that weird little gate rest on the end, which is a pretty cool thing. I'm digging on that. Now what we can also do is keep going further through the grids as things get stranger and stranger. I am going to turn down the CV input level for the second grid and we'll sweep around in the second grid, taking the audio feed from output 2. Thank <laughs> you. 
Now, the CP that's going into input 2 is from an SSL mod orgy. It is a sawtooth LFO that is synced to the beat. So let's bring up some level. Sawtooth kicks in and get that weird growl that rises up. Oh, we can swing around with the bias on grid 2 and just experiment to see what other places that might come in handy. is just a quick demonstration video of a secret feature of the Circuit Abbey impulse drive, the Dirty Dirty VCA. I will now bring in some of the ZDSP, which is doing a reverse reverb algorithm by Maleko. We'll get some cool sounds going, and thank you, and have a good evening. 